clump your heel if you want to learn how to draw a horse. <laughs> Hi everybody, my name is Philip and welcome to Totally Amazing. Today, I'm gonna give you some tips to draw a horse or a unicorn with no horn, as I like to call them. <laughs> anyway, so, we're going to need a pencil, a marker for inking, a rubber, paper obviously, and I'm going to be using colors. I'm going to be using a dark brown, light brown, a yellow, and an orange, and you're going to need a sharpener. Also, I'm gonna give you a hot tip that you're not gonna believe. It's gonna to be to do with the back legs of a horse. It's gonna make a lot more sense when you see it. Check it out when we get there. So let's get down to drawing our horse. Okay, so pencil marks, we're gonna go really light because we're gonna rubbing out all our pencil marks. So let's start off around the center of the page. I want you to draw two circles. So one rather wide and one more, just more, more evenly. So we've got an oval and a circle. Now what we do, we draw a smiley face joining them, just like that. Oh, isn't that pretty? And now we draw a nice S. And where the S finishes, let's draw a triangle. So that's the basics of the body of our horse. <laughs> hey, who let that in? Okay, so now we've got to put in some line markings for the head. So I'm going to put in a wedge shape over here. What I'm going to do, I'm going to extend that triangle up here and I'm going to put in a where the where the triangle joins the line's going to come up and over here I'm going to extend that down to a point like a almost like a triangle on the edge and it's going to come up like that that's the basics of the shape of the horse's head for now okay for the legs what we're going to do we're going to just draw some basic um, lines for where the legs are going to go so line down and line down Okay, so now we're gonna do some markings for the back of the horse's leg. Now, believe it or not, we look at a horse's leg, we think uh, it, it's backwards, it doesn't make sense. But this is actually the bone structure of a horse's leg. It starts from about here, comes down, out, down, and like that. And I'm gonna do the same on the other side, but I'm, obviously we're not gonna see the other side too much, so it's gonna go like that. Almost like a lightning bolt, like this and like that. Now, believe it or not, that doesn't look like a normal leg, does it? It doesn't, it doesn't look like our legs, but it actually has the same bone structure. Let's say, and you're like, what, the same bone structure? No, it doesn't, it's, it, it's backwards. Let me show you what I mean. I'm gonna draw a leg of a human, not a horse. Sideways, so I've got a knee, calf, and the foot. See, they're the same, it, it's uncanny. They're not, they're not, they're not, they don't look the same. But let me show you the bone structure. So we've got our big thigh bone here, we've got our calf bone here, and then we've got our bones in here and for the toes. Watch, this bone here is actually that bone there. This bone here is actually that part there. So from here, this is the foot of the horse. So I'm going to draw a circle here. So this point here is the heel for us. Our foot moves like this, like that. So it's got the, the bulk of the foot here lifts up and then that bit takes off. Well, this part of our foot for us is actually this part here of the horse. And this part here is what we would call basically the toes. So that is gonna help you so much when you wanna draw a horse's back legs from now on. Think about your own legs, but remember to bring them up higher and extend the foot. Where we have a knee, they start their foot. Just rub out this. So we'll leave that circle there. I'm going to actually put another circle here and here. And over on this side, I'm going to put a circle here halfway and over here as well. So now we can start putting in some more details, shall we? So I'm going to kick this foot out a little bit. Draw another circle and then bring that down to where I put my guide. Kick that backwards, circle and guide. All right, so now let's join our leg up. So let's going to put some meat on our bones. So we're gonna have like a wedge going up to our circle. Keep them fairly thin, because thin, of course horses have thin legs. Goes around and bring that around to here. And following our circles, that'll help us determine the shape of the leg. So it's a sort of a nice S shape. And then this bit comes down and forms a wedge at the bottom where we draw our hoof like that. Same on the other side, but this time I'm gonna put in a little bit of a mark there for the chest. In fact, let's bring that all the way up to the, the head. So it's like an S shape. 
And now we can draw this side. So this time I'm going to put a little bit of a kick out at the top there and it comes down. And this bit's going to come back to the, the body there. Again, we go around our circles. Around our circles and bring that down again for our wedge at the toe there. And there's that foot. Okay, this, this bit here, I'm just going to bring a line up and line that for a bit of the muscles of the leg. Same on this side. Okay, so now we've got our curve, let's just, our smile, let's bring that back to the leg. Like that, and let's work on this leg. We don't need to draw this part up here because that's just the bone structure. What we're going to do is we're going to come from about here, where, almost where the, the, the body meets, and bring it around. And we, again, we follow our curve, go around, down here, around again, and bring that down. And on this side, we're going to follow the rump this time. So we're going to bring that down over here, following our curves and bring it down again. So we're following the, the rump around. We don't need to worry about this part. That's just the bone structure. We draw the line back from the rump to our curve and down. And on this side, we do the same, following our curve in, around and out. Wedge at the bottom for the foot, following around and back. Now this side, obviously it would come around, but you don't need to draw that because it's in the behind area. Okay, so let's start drawing our head. So what I want to do now is I want to put a wedge up here, like this, which is going to show one side and that's where one eye would be. And over here, we put another eye. I'm going to just give it a little eyelash because that makes it look more more beautiful, more beautiful horsey. Like that. Now we come down our nose. They, they have a long face. And we draw a circle over here, a nice oval shape for the nostrils, because they have large nostrils. And then we're going to go about three quarters of the way down this section here. And we're going to bring a line up. And then we can bring just a little bit back and bring around to the, to the head. Now we're going to just Smooth it off this line. We've got our one ear there, and we're going to draw another ear on the other side. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put a little mark on the front front, like a nice, nice little white spot there. And just curve that off a little bit, make it all nice and smooth, not so angular, to smooth things off. And there we go, there's our nice head. So now we're going to give it some hair. So what we'll do, we'll just draw a nice shape to give us an indication of where we want it to go. And now let's put in some nice in and out shapes, like this, bring them around, like this, nice hair. And bring it between the ears a bit too, so we want a little bit of a hair between the ears. And now for the, while we're here at the ear, just going to put in a little line up here, and a little squiggle there, to show that that ear side is open, that one's closed. Now the tail, nice S shape at the back, and now again, we go around, in, out, in, out, and down, and we do the other side, following our middle line, and there we go. And that's the basics of how we're going to draw our horse. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to ink all the lines that I want to keep, and then I'll rub out all the lines that I don't want to keep, which is all the pencil line. So let's start doing that, shall we? Alrighty, so now we're up to the colouring stage. So I'm going to be using my Dermot Colour Softs, and what I'm going to be using is a Deep Cadmium C040, Bright Orange C080, Lich and Green C500, that's going to be used for my light brown, and Dark Brown C520. So let's get down to it. Okay, so first of all, I start off by adding the highlights. I do this by adding yellow to the edges, thinking about all the parts that are probably more in direct sunlight. It's good for helping to define the shape of the horse as well. So now what I'm doing is I'm adding orange. Now this is good, a good color for mixing between the yellow and the brown of the horse. So it's a good color for an in-between color. A little more highlight there on this rump with the orange. 
Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm adding in my shadow. So I've got my highlights, I'm putting in my shadows now. This is gonna to help define what the shape of the horse's muscles are, and it's gonna make it a lot easier for when I'm blending in the general brown of the horse. Also, notice that the back legs, the ones further away, are gonna be more in shadow than the ones in front. And the hair on the mane and the tail are also gonna be a lot more darker than the rest of the horse, so it's gonna be more in shadow. So now what I'm doing is I'm putting a base color of brown down, you notice I'm going light and then I'm going over it again, over it again, and I'm building up the layers, going heavier as I go. So what I'm doing here, it's called blanching. This is what you do when you're, you're pushing a lot heavier on your pencil. Notice see how the color is filling in a lot better? What it's doing is it's pushing down the fibers of the paper so you don't actually see the white coming through. It makes the colors a lot more defined and, and vibrant. Because what I'm doing here is I'm using my Derwent Color Soft. Because they have a vibrant color and a really soft texture which helps you build up the color more quickly. They're a wax-based pencil. They still keep the points very well. So it makes it so much easier for when you're trying to blend your colors and the, the color just, just pours out of the pencil. It's really good. I put a link in the description for the Derwents as well. So notice how there I'm starting from the dark brown and shading up. So this is also helping to blend the colors. And we're just about done. And there you have it, a finished horse. Now remember the back of the leg, they sort of have the same general bone structure of us, but remember that where we have a knee, they start their foot from there. But other than that, that's the basics on how to draw a horse. So I hope that's helped you. If there's something else that you'd like to learn how to draw, why not leave a comment down below and we'll get to that as soon as we can. Also, while you're down there, please like, subscribe and hit that bell button, we'd really appreciate it. By the way, I also have my own comic. It's called Antispite and there is a fabulous horse in one of my issues, the first issue. In fact, in fact I put a picture of it right here. Pretty cool, huh? Uh, so check that out as well. There's a link down below. Other than that, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed drawing a horse with me, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Blooper reel, blooper reel, blooper reel. Clump your toe two times if you want to learn how to learn a... So remember, the back of the leg actually has the same bone structure as us, believe it or not. Well, and we're being interrupted. And there you have it, guys, the way to draw a unicorn without a horn. I mean, a horse, a horse. That's what I meant to say, a horse. <laughs> Did you get that? And why did you turn that off?